and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and showcasing this Kuzara cheese board. Now, it's a cheese board, but it can also double as a charcuterie board. Now, for my fans out there, you would know that a cheese board is dealing only with cheese and a charcuterie is when you deal with meats. Now, a lot of you like to mix it with both meat and cheese. You can do whatever you want. There is nothing that is cast in stone where you have to do it one way. So today, let's unbox this because I'm really excited about this item. And also, I'm really excited because Christmas is coming up, Thanksgiving is coming up, and if you're looking to entertain, this is going to be perfect for you. And if you're also looking for a gift to give, this is also perfect. So guys, this is the board, right? In the center of the board, we have a removable piece of slate. I think this is really cool because I've never seen a cheese board with that. And then on the side here, you would see there's a, a little notch. You want to pull that out. And when you pull that out, what we have nestled in there are two cheese knives. Here is like the cheese fork and the other one is a spreading knife and it can also cut so let's place this back on the side here and I'll show you how this works in just a little and then when you pull out the other side also has one it comes with two forks There's another knife here and another here. Each one has its own use. Now the thing that I like about this board is I like that these items come with the board. Let me just so guys, the first thing we're going to start with um, are some grapes and you would want to leave the grapes on the vine it would be a better way to serve so just fix it make sure when you put it it it's appealing to the eye so now for this you would want to choose a variety of cheeses and I'm going to start with a blue cheese which is a popular cheese to use now I'm just going to angle it Outwards. The reason why I'm angling it outwards is because when your guests come to help themselves, it's easier for them to cut rather than they have to start from the center of the board. So always try to angle the cheeses outwards. The next cheese I want to go in is with a cheddar. Now if you're a Trini, you'll know that you can't have a cheese board without a piece of cheddar cheese. The next type of cheese is going to be a goat cheese and I'm just going to place that right here. My next piece of cheese is a cranberry flavored cheese. This is going to add a sweet element. The next piece of cheese is going to be brie. And it's a really nice soft cheese. If this piece is too big, you can always cut it into a half. So maybe I should do that just to make space because the board is getting very crowded. Okay, and the last cheese that I'm going to put is a jalapeno and pepper jack cheese. I'm just going to put that in the center and just place this like this. Okay, so once you've arranged your cheeses the way that you would like it to be, you're going to use these trays on the side to put your crackers. And you can use any type of crackers that you like. This one is a Tuscan peasant cracker. So it's crunchy and it's, rob it's a robust cracker that's um, baked with a lot of grains and some rosemary. So you can play around with the flavors. Next, I'm gonna place some mini toasts. I'm just gonna place some regular, regular saltine crackers. So just some plain saltine crackers and if you wanted to use cricks, of course you can use that also. I'm gonna go in with some dried fruits. So some apricots. 
I'm going to go in with some candied nuts and you could use any type of nuts you would like and you see how nice this indentation on the side here comes in so that nothing rolls off the platter on the other side I'm gonna add some bread because who doesn't love just regular bread so just a few slices of bread remember as I said you can replenish this accordingly to how your guests are eating next I'm gonna place some olives And I'm going to place some pickled garlic and peppers and I'm placing it in a bowl so that the oils from it doesn't leak so in the little ramekins that we got I'm going to pour in some honey and I'm using honey that's especially for cheese boards and in this other one I'm going to go in with some orange and fig spread you can use any type of spread you like so when you're putting your board together you want to do a various um, types of cheese so we have a soft scotch cheese you'll do a hard New Zealand cheddar cheese you'll do a soft sweet brie you will do a very sharp blue cheese then we have a sweet cheese and then we have this pepper cheese you could use a pepper jack cheese you want to do different types of spreads some pickles some olives your grapes dried fruits nuts you have your toast you have crackers two different types I have you have bread you can also use white bread if you like and you have all of your utensils set in each corner so your guests can help themselves and that's it that's my cheese board now you would know what your guests like and you will know what you want to put on your cheese board if you wanted to do a charcuterie board and you wanted to include cheese in the board you would want to cut your pieces of cheese smaller so you can make space for those meats I would recommend a prosciutto a salami something that's dry and sweet and you would place your meats alongside your cheeses just fix the board and make it look inviting for your guests so guys how amazing does this spread look so easy to put together you don't have to do any cooking you have guests who love cheese cheeses and you can pair it with your different types of wine for this and they are absolutely going to love this I'm gonna be doing some entertaining today Hence the reason why I put this together. Now I would like to say a special thank you to Kuzara for sending me this cheese board. It's something I've never had one of, but I'm so grateful to have it. I love the fact that it comes with all of the utensils and it's nestled in there. I love that it comes with these two ceramic little containers so you can put your honey, you can put your spreads. This is an amazing and a simple cheese board to put together. Now, when you're putting together a cheese board, you want to go to your supermarket. They would have a section where they would have all of their specialty cheeses and everything you would need to put your cheese board together. So guys, if you are interested in owning your own cheese board or you would like to gift it to someone this Thanksgiving or Christmas, click on the down arrow where you would find the link to purchase this item. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash demo video and i want to wish you guys a happy holiday 2019 bye